Nathan Davis, and this is participation trophies need to be eradicated. For all you athletes out there, if you won a national championship, but the team that came in last place got the exact same trophy as you, you wouldn't feel like you accomplished anything. You wouldn't feel like all the hard work that you went through in your career helped paid off or anything. You would just say, I just wasted my time getting better when I could have just sat around playing video games or going with my friends and got the same result at the end. And then it is turning, it is turning the kids nowadays into self-obsessed, irresponsible, unmade, unmotivated generation of false achievers. We need to get rid of this and show the kids that failure happens a lot in life and they need to experience it earlier in life so they become real human beings, grow and become mature men and women. And then 80% of success is showing up, and that is from Woody Allen. And what he means by showing up with the mentality of doing your job and winning, it's not just physically being present. You can't just show up and get a good grade. Like, just showing up and getting 80% of a grade on a test doesn't happen in the real world. No teacher will ever give you 180% for sitting down and coming to class. It is not ever gonna happen, and also, LeBron can't score 80 points in one game just by sitting on the bench. It's never happened. I don't think anyone's ever made a, a three-point shot from sitting on the bench and not being in the game. And then and Carl Dweck, a professor of psychology at Stanford, he says that their kids are getting praised for being for not doing too much and they they have a fear of not being praised at all which is a big reality in how bad failing is leading them to cheating so they never experience failure I mean how would you like it if your child experienced failure in life at a late age and they took it so bad that it hurt them emotionally or even physically which no one ever wants to happen because that's the last thing anyone will ever happen to their child. And it would be best for the children to experience failure early, early in life, say, losing a game in soccer and they don't get the first place trophy. Say, oh, I have to work harder to get better and I can't just do whatever I want and think that I'll be successful in life. You have to work hard to get where you're at. No one, almost no one in life has done nothing other than the people born into money, which is only a select few people. And uh, Robert Klinger, Klinger, yeah, Dr. Washington at um, St. Louis, he, uh, he says, we have to get over the notion that everyone has to be a winner in the United States. With that being said, everyone thinks that being a winner is gonna make you a better person in life. Just because you win doesn't mean like that you're gonna be successful. Just because I won a soccer game when I was 10 doesn't mean I'm gonna be an Olympic soccer player in the future. I have to work hard and get to where I want to go on a clear path, or not, not even a clear path. Sometimes there's ups and downs, especially with that, and that's how you learn from your mistakes. And about 1.56 million people in the United States are homeless. That is not a lot that you see, but it's still more than the people that should have them because they've not done things right. And then 45 million people in the United States are living below the poverty line. And then Robert is clearly saying that not everyone was a winner because I don't think everyone being poor and homeless is considered a winning lifestyle. Not everyone in the world is going to be a winner because you see the people not living in poverty, those, they're not all winners. They're just not the losers in life that have not been past the regret and past the failures they've had. They've gotten through it. Not saying the people in homeless and poverty can't, but there's just harder for them to do it. And then participation trophies will not lead people to poverty, but there's also a good chance that they could end up along these lines because they'll have the notion that they don't have to try and when they get to a job and they go for an interview and they don't get the job, they're they don't understand why, because they should, they're expecting to get everything in life just because they show up and do everything they need. 
and then also with that, just having having participation trophies teaches kids to be content with failure and a minimal effort in their skills gets them the same reward as someone who busted their butt to succeed, which doesn't happen in life. And even in sports or school or everything, if you, if you bust your butt to get things done the right way, you tend to, you will succeed most of the time. And if not, you tend to learn from your failures and decide what you want to do in your future. And in the long run, participation trophies hurt children and make them think that they will be a winner and when nothing else can hurt them. In life, there is always more losers than winners. It will never change. And success is not just showing up and being there. It's working your hardest to be the best of your ability. And if you still fall, fail, you will try and improve so you won't lose the next time. That's why we practice in sports. No one is just born in the NBA Hall of Fame with five-time national championship, eight-time MVP. It's, it's earned. It's not given.